recording. Okay, so let's start with uh, the beginning. I'm Tom Welch, a retired civil engineer from Iowa, and the program I'm managing is, uh, provides bunk beds for children that do not have beds of their own. I really feel strongly that every child needs to have a bed of their own, not to be on a floor in a mattress, not to, uh, sleeping with somebody else. Uh, so the child has their own bed to go to, to sleep in, to crawl into and read their own book. So I built one bed, just simple bunk bed, no blankets, no mattresses, and, and found a family that needed it. And I put it on a Facebook page in Fairfield Bay that I was doing this. And I started to get some contributions to build some additional beds. And as I continued to promote it, a teenage uh, gal wrote on Facebook that her and her brother needed a bed. And that was on Facebook and I shared that and the money just really came in. So we've been able to build since last November, the last about six months. And it's been a very generous outpouring of support from the people in, uh, in North Central Arkansas. Okay, so where are we headed right now? We're headed to a family that has four children needing a bed. We're gonna give her one bunk bed, mattresses, and bedding, a complete one, to start out, and then at a later date, she can uh, receive another bed after everyone else is, that's waiting for a bed. Uh, I discovered, uh, looking on Facebook and web pages, there was a national program called Sleep in Heavenly Sleep uh, Children's Bed Program. Um, and so I said, well, I knew there was a need in North Central Arkansas for children to have beds of their own. So I built one simple bunk bed and gave it to a family and put the word out that I'd like to build more of them for other children. And uh, to my pleasure and amazement, uh, a substantial number of people began to donate both uh, money, uh, mattresses, and used beds for me to provide to other families. As of now, in less than six months, uh, 80 children in the uh, four counties around here, Claiborne, Stone, Van Buren, and, and, and a couple of other counties have received beds of their own. And uh, it just shows you the, the depth of the economic problem in uh, North Central Arkansas. Uh, part of it is driven by a lack of really good paying jobs in this part of Arkansas to be able to you know, sustain a family of two kids and two parents even. It just uh, uh, adds value to their life. There's no question it enhances the quality of their life, but provide a complete bed to the children, which means a mattress and bedding, so each child has their own place to go to sleep, to crawl in and read a book, and I have to share a bed on the floor with uh, other children, members of the family. Like today, I, I really, if I have the opportunity, the children are old enough, I uh, ask them to be engaged in making their own bed so they have a little sweat equity in it, they have a little pride that they've helped make their own bed. Uh, I think that's a long-term benefit to those children. I have three rules that I give the children uh, when I get done delivering their bed. Number one is no jumping on the bed. Number two, they are to make that bed every single morning. I tell them, don't make me come back here. And number three, when they get to be old enough and they're in a position to be able to do something like this, to outreach to their community and help uh, a child improve the quality of her life in one way so this can be a, a continued multi-generational benefit to the community. So uh, at this point, it, it got to be overwhelming, of course, uh, as I started out doing this on my own. And I've had a, a couple of people step up in Claiborne County that will make beds for me. Two people in uh, Van Buren County will make beds for me. And now just today, uh, this church has stepped forward to me making beds in Stone County. Today, we are living what we believe. 
I want you to think that for a moment. We're not just talking a good game. We're not just saying words. We are living what we believe. We believe that the Messiah gave the greatest sacrifice by laying his life down for us. And we believe what he says in Mark 10, 45, for the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. So we did not come to be served. We came to serve. I was looking for someone in Stone County to provide me assistance, and it's taken a while, but these two churches at the same time reached out to me within a couple of weeks saying we're willing to help, and it's just going to be awesome for me to be able to just kind of supervise and direct families in need to these two church people that will provide uh, bedding for them. There's going to be a constant need for contributions. There are going to be people like this young group that can build and do physic things physically, but there's another generation that can contribute either with donated beds, donated mattresses, or donated funding, uh, which it takes all, everybody to do. It takes a village for certain. Yeah, if they want to help build, I think, you know, uh, again, contact me. I've got a small group in each of the counties now that would take additional volunteers. If you want to make a bed, uh, they can come to my house and make the bed, help stain it. Uh, people have done that. Or they could contact one of the churches, and when they have a work date, they could show up and help build it.